the chill morning here from Africa and we're going to talk about something very important here from today here today so guys the channel is Nazvin and like I always say if you have not subscribed to our channel I want to encourage you to subscribe uh, today we decided to change our background a bit let me know how you are finding it today we're going to talk about the 10 types of women to avoid having sex with that's what we're going to talk about the 10 types of women you should avoid having sex with when considering a partner for sexual relationships it's important to focus on mutual respect consent and also comp compatibility rather than categorizing people uh, to avoid it is more constructive uh, to understand certain behaviors and also situations that could indicate potential uh, issues and some of the uh, of these types which we're going to talk about uh, or behaviors or situations uh, you need to be very cautious of so number one is about non-consensual behavior and when we talk about non-consensual behavior is individuals who pressure or coerce others into the sexual activities so those are number one people you should avoid uh, so reason to avoid this is that consent is crucial in any sexual activity or relationships so unconscious of behavior is both unethical and also illegal at the end of the day number two type of women you should avoid is about uh, dishonest women so description people who lie about their sexual history especially who lie about their intentions or relationship status these are the people also you should uh, avoid at the end of the day so dishonest is very key that you avoid such kind of people because trust and honesty are fundamental to health relationships so if you find someone who is dishonest that's also another type of uh, lady or a woman you should avoid as a man disrespectful attitudes is also another consideration that's number three and when you talk about these people who exhibit uh, dis disrespectful or demeaning attitudes towards others that is very key even if it's not about you also the, the person who is uh, dis disrespectful to other people so because respect is very essential to health and equitable relationship and if someone is uh, exploiting or exploring into disrespecting you either as a, as a man or a partner is very key that you get to avoid such kind of disrespe disrespectful attitudes of uh, an individual Irresponsible uh, sexual behavior is also another description where individuals who do not practice uh, especially the safe uh, sex or uh, is true of unsafe sex practices is also another person you should avoid. Why? These are the people uh, who cannot protect themselves against the sexually transmitted infections or unintended pregnancies. So it's important that you take care of the sexual health or, or you take care of your sexual health at the end of the day. Uh, so such people who have such kind of behaviors is very key that you get uh, to avoid such kind of people lack of emotional maturity is also another thing which you can always uh, consider about and the people who exhibit immature behavior or lack ability to handle emotional aspects of a relationship so that's another thing which you look at so lack of emotional maturity what you call emotional maturity so emotional maturity is very necessary for ending uh, relationship dynamics because we have a lot of things which come about when you are the one you are in a relationship with a, with your partner so uh, dynamics and responsibilities come in with the emotional maturity uh, number four, six is about jealousy or controlling behavior where individual will display jealousy or attempts to control their partner's actions is also another thing which you look at you you you, you look at and the reason for avoiding this is about health relationships are built in mutual trust and also respect not to control or being jealous at the end of the day. Addictive behaviors is also another thing we should look at. So those, substance, those people with a substance abuse or addictive behaviors that affect judgment and their actions is very key you look at them because addiction can lead to an unpredictable behavior and affect the relationship stability and safety at the end of the day. Number eight is about unresolved mental health issues. Somebody who has challenges with uh, individuals with untreated or unmanaged uh, mental health issues. This can impact the relationships and also behavior at the end of the day. And the reason you should avoid this, mental health issues should be addressed and all, by all parties and, well, or, and all parties involved. So if somebody has mental health challenges, 
Uh, we don't want to disrespect people with their mental health issues because, well, like in our previous video, we've seen a lot of how uh, we are affected or we are victims of mental health. But if these people are not ready to be uh, to resolve to solve their mental health issues, is very unhealthy because you need someone who can make uh, good judgments uh, uh, and also manage their behavior, not to. Uh, to, to go on uh, on those extremes if they are uncontrolled. Number nine is about inconsistent uh, or unreliable behavior. So if you find somebody, people who are inconsistent, they are unreliable, and also frequently unavailable, that's something also, that's a red light where you should avoid that kind of a, uh, a person in your life. So stability and reliability are very important for healthy and secure relationship. So if you find someone who, is who has unreliable behavior, the behavior which you cannot predict also, they mean that person cannot be a good partner for you. So lack of personal hygiene is also another, another thing which you should look at. Why individuals who do not maintain personal hygiene cleanness is, uh, yeah, uh, is very key. So personal hygiene is very important for physical health and also uh, comfort in intimate uh, relationships. Yeah, so that is, a, as a man, you should take that one very, very, very serious so that you get to manage your, manage uh, yourself very well about uh, that kind of uh, uh, of, uh, of the things. Uh, so understanding the causes behind pro pro problematic uh, behaviors or situations that might suggest uh, avoiding certain individuals for sexual relationships involves exploring the various factors. And uh, some of the common causes of these behaviors is about non-consensual behavior. The, co the main cause of this about non-consensual behavior is, is power imbalances, lack of uh, respect of boundaries, and also issues related to control and also manipulation. The impact of this non-consensual behavior can result in legal conse consequences and also emotional trauma and also a uh, breach of uh, trust at the end of the day. Number two causes about the dishonest where causes of the, the cause of this is fear of rejection, uh, desire to protect oneself for a pattern or deceit, uh, deceitive, uh, deceitful behavior. So that is very also very key. So dishonest undermines the trust and also lead to misunderstanding and at the end of the day, health risks of an individual. Disrespective attitudes, the causes of this can be due to uh, cultural or personal values that prioritize power or control uh, or lack of empathy and also understanding. So impact of this is, is about disrespective attitudes that can lead to unhealthy relationships and at the end of the day bring about uh, emotional harm at the end of the day. Irresponsible be sexual behavior uh, also can also use, can be caused by lack of education, one of it, or on safe practices, impulsive behavior, disregard of personal health and well-being, and this uh, can impact the relationships in, a way, in such a way that it increases the risk of STIs or an, an, uh, sexually transmitted infections or unintended uh, pregnancies at the end of the days, guys. Lack of emotional maturity can be caused by developmental issues, uh, past trauma or inefficient life experience. This can impact the, the, the relationship and make it very unstable. Uh, and make it diff very difficult if you want to be in that relationships in handling conflicts and emotional distress can be also another thing which can come about uh, with uh, with the lack of emo this uh, lack of emotional maturity jealousy or controlling behavior this can be caused by past relationship issues insecurity and health atta uh, uh, and health attachment styles this can be the impact of this in your relationship. It can create an health and oppressive relationship dynamic that can lead to emotional harm. Addictive behaviors, uh, because of the causes of uh, like things like uh, substance abuse, gambling or compulsive behaviors, often rooted in the mental health issues or environmental factors, can really be a big issue in your relationships. So, and so uh, this this one can affect the way one makes judgment and also the one be how one also gets to behave and also leading to instability and the potential harm in uh, one is uh, relationship. And resolved mental health issues is also another thing where it causes mental health uh, conditions that can uh, uh, 
uh, that's uh, poorly unstructured or poorly managed, often leading uh, due to access to healthcare, health personal health, and also oral denial. So the impact of this, it can disrupt uh, relationships and affect the emotional and the behavioral stability. In consistent or unliable behavior, where, which can be caused by personal issues, lack of responsibility, or lifestyle, or life circumstances that impact the reliability. The impact of this in your relationships it creates a lot of uncertainty and instability in a relationship, leading to uh, frustration and dissatisfaction at the end of the day. Lack of personal hygiene, this can be caused by uh, may stem for personal neglect, uh, mental health issues or socioeconomic uh, factors. And the impact of this can lead to physical discomfort and health risks and also affect intimacy and also relationship quality at the end of the day. So understanding the, co the causes of prob problematic behaviors in a relationship, it helps to under understand and also address the uh, issues and also prevent the issues in our sexual relationships. So it is very important to get uh, that uh, we get to prioritize uh, our mutual respect, mutual respect, communication and healthy behaviors to foster uh, positive and fulfilling connections. Recognizing and addressing uh, these factors can contribute to healthier and more satisfying relationships at the end of the day. So how do you manage these uh, problems in, if you find yourself in such kind of uh, uh, a relationship? Managing of problematic behaviors in a sexual relationship, how do you get to manage them? Effective managing a problematic behaviors in sexual relationships involving addressing the underlying uh, conditions with, uh, with clear boundaries and fostering healthy interactions and uh, how you're going to do it, if it's like in an unconsensual uh, behavior, the action which you should take there, clearly communicate your boundaries and consent, and also seek support from authorities or counseling, or counseling if you experience uh, coercion or pressure at the end of the day. So this, this one uh, is going to ensure that uh, your sexual activity are consensual and it respects your rights and also your safety at the end of the day. In, if you find yourself in a dishonest uh, kind of relationship, the action of this is to foster open and also honest communication about your feeling about it with your partner, addressing concerns or, uh, or issues directly as much as possible so that you get to understand of this. This way, you get to build trust and also transparency, tr a transparent relationship or transparency in your relationship to help you get to that honest part of it. Disrespectful attitudes, if you find your partner is disrespectful, establish or in, involve, uh, enforce personal boundaries, let your partner know your boundaries, engage in open uh, communication about your uh, respect and mutual expectations, so that at the end of the day you get uh, as an outcome, promote a respectful and supportive relationship uh, dynamic. Number four is about the responsible sexual behavior. If this one is, in, if you find it in with your partner, the action of this is to educate yourself and your partner about the safe, uh, se safe uh, sex practices, and also use protection to get regular health checkups to find if there is uh, any effect of the STIs at the end of the day. So the outcome of this is to reduce the risk of STIs and unintended pregnancies, and also. Uh, supportive uh, overall sexual health at the end of the day. Lack of emotional uh, emotional maturity. If you find you are in a relationship where one is experiencing emotional uh, immaturity, so the action of this is to encourage uh, open dialogue and seek professional help if very necessary. Practice patience and empathy in a relationship. This can go a long way to help you. The, this supports emotional growth and stability in a relationship at the end of the day. Jealousy or controlling behavior in a relationship, the action of this is to address controlling and also behavior through honest communication and set the boundaries as much as possible to seek uh, couples uh, therapy if very necessary at the end of the day. With this, you want to reduce the unhealthy dynamics and fostering the balanced and respectful. Yo guys, very key also is uh, f about finding uh, addictive, uh, about the addictive behaviors. If you find uh, you are in a relationship where addiction is a, is a, is a problem, so encourage seeking professional help uh, for your addiction issues. That is very key, where you get to help yourself 
through encouraging uh, professional help in your relationship. This encourages uh, to stabilize the behavior and also improve relationship dynamics. On unsolved mental health issues, because this can be very, very detrimental, detrimental at the end of the day, it is very key that you get to uh, encourage seeking professional help for the, these unsolved mental health issues where you get to practice understanding and practice patience in a relationship so that you get support mental health management for your partner and also enhance relationship stability. And this calls for the cooperation of the, that one who is affected by this kind of, uh, uh, this kind of uh, relationship so that you get or get affected by the mental health issues so that they get the kind of support which uh, they need. Inconsistent or unreliable behavior. So it is very, uh, very key that you get to communicate your feelings or your expectations clearly and also discuss any concerns and also uh, about reliability, address the underlying issues as much as possible so that you promote stability and also reliability in a relationship. Lack of personal hygiene, this is discussed hygiene concerns sensitive and encourage health habits from your partner, addressing the underlying issues affecting the hygiene and enhance this one with the, when you deal with this, you get to enhance this uh, hygiene thing and enhance comfort and also health in a relationship. So on managing these uh, problematic uh, things in relationships, it, 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 uh, like I've mentioned, it requires proactive communication, setting boundaries and seeking appropriate support as much as possible. By addressing these issues effectively, the individual uh, can foster healthier, more respectful and also satisfying uh, relationships at the end of the day, which we all, we all want. And also by this, prioritizing mutual respect and addressing underlying problems, they help uh, create positive and also fulfilling sexual and also emotional connection at the end of the day, which is very key in a, a relationship. So complications of problematic uh, behaviors in, uh, uh, in sexual relationships sometimes come up. And ignoring or inadequately managing problematic behaviors in, in the sexual relationships, it can lead to sexual complications. And some of these complications are related to, number one, emotional trauma. And when we talk about emotional trauma, we're talking about psychological harm uh, from experiences of non-sexual behavior or non-consensual uh, behavior or disrespect. This can result in a long-term uh, emotional distress, anxiety, and depression at the end of the day. So that's very key that you understand the emotional trauma can also become a, a complication in the sexual related uh, thing. So trust issues where erosion of trust due to dishonest or inconsistent behavior. And this can damage relationships in a big way and it can lead to difficulty in forming or maintaining uh, future connections. Increased risk of uh, STIs. STIs can uh, come about as a complication at the end of the day where description where we get that uh, sexual behavior or exposure to sexual transmitted infections can really affect the, the, the affect this. So uh, because of from the responsible sexual behavior, the health impact of this and also potential infertility and need of ongoing medical treatment at the end of the day, like if one gets exposed to things like HIV, you get into those problems. Uh, relationship in, the, in, 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 in instability. When we talk about instability, we're talking about issues like jealousy, controlling behavior, also emotional immaturity can lead to uh, a conflict. The impact of this, it can cause uh, frequent arguments, emotional distance, and a potential breakup at the end of the day. Physical health uh, problems, when we talk about physical health problems, we're talking about health issues from neglect or personal hygiene or irresponsible, uh, irresponsible sexual behavior or practices. This can lead to physical uh, discomfort, infections, and also long-term healthy consequences. Unplanned pregnancies is also a complication of this, while resulting from inadequate use of protection or lack of uh, planning. So the impact of this, we have emotional impact, we have financial impact, and also lifestyle ch uh, challenges for both uh, partners at the end of the day. Reduced sexual satisfaction, where negative experience of behavior affecting sexual uh, enjoyment and intimacy comes in. The impact of this, it decreases the pleasure 
reduced libido and also dissatisfaction in a relationship. Mental health decline is also another thing. Where well, the impact of unresolved health issues or addictive behaviors can exacerbate the mental health problems, leading to further relationships and personal challenges at the end of the day. Social isolation is also another thing, or withdrawal from social activities, uh, to, uh, activities due to relationship uh, or personal behavior. So loneliness crops in and also support, uh, reduced support network comes in, affecting overall well-being of uh, that uh, relationship. Legal and financial consequences is also another complication where we get issues like non-consensual behavior or irresponsible practices can lead to legal repercussions or financial strain at the end of the day. The legal actions, potential uh, fines and, uh, and financial costs are the impact of this with the health issues or related health uh, conflicts. Addressing problematic uh, behaviors in a sexual relationship is crucial to prevent the complications that can impact emotional, physical, relationship uh, well-being at the end of the day. So proactive management, open communication and seeking professional help when needed guys can mitigate the risks and also support health and more fulfilling relationships, prioritizing the mutual uh, respect, consent and also uh, the risk and support health system, more fulfilling uh, relationships. So prioritize mutual respect, safety is the very key, avoiding complications and ensuring positive uh, dynamics. So on the prevention part of it, of uh, complications related to sexual relationships, preventing complications related to sexual relationships, it involves proactive measures, open communication and self-awareness is very key, guys, where here is how you want to prevent this into health uh, fulfilling because all we want is about getting that uh, fulfilling uh, relationship at the end of the day where you get to help yourself with uh, that kind of information. Prioritize consent is very key as a preventive uh, number one pre preventive measure. The, so you ensure all the sexual activities are consensual and are based on mutual agreement. The outcome of this, you want to prevent an consensual behavior and foster respect and also trust at the end of the day. Uh, foster open communication is very key. Discuss expectations, expectations, boundaries, concerns openly with your partner, very key. With this, you want to build trust, understanding, reducing the risk of uh, misunderstanding and also conflict. Practice of safe sex is also a very good, uh, very key thing to, for preventing much of the problem. Use protection to, pre to prevent the STIs or sexually transmitted infections and unintended pregnancies. So, and also get regular checkups with your your healthcare provider for STIs. Why, what why you, why you you do you always do this is to protect you against the health risks and also support uh, sec your sexual health as much as possible. On the maintenance of personal hygiene is also a very key thing where you also want to practice good personal hygiene and encourage your partner to do the same. The outcome of this, you want comfort and also reduce the risk of uh, infections. Addressing emotional and mental uh, health issues is very key where you want to seek professional help for your AV that you are affected by the mental health issues or emotional difficulties and also engage in stress management techniques so this supports emotional well-being and improve uh, the relationship dynamics as much as possible. So when, you, we, when we do this, we, want, we support the emotional well-being and also improve relationship dynamics at the end, uh, at the end of the day. Set and also respect boundaries. When you set boundaries about each other and also we need to respect them. So stay informed about sexual health safe practices and also uh, relationship dynamics uh, is also another thing where you share knowledge with your partner and also promote informed decision making support uh, health uh, sexual behavior. So when we talk about setting and also respecting boundaries, they prevent conflicts and maintain respectable balanced uh, relationship at the end of the day. Seeking professional help when needed is very key where you consult healthcare provide professionals or relationship counselors to ensure that uh, Relate, uh, issues related to sexual health are uh, addressed. If addiction is involved, it's, it's addressed. And also, if we have a relationship conflicts, they are also addressed as much pos as, as much as possible. Management of addictive uh, behavior, guys, is uh, another key thing which we must ensure. So 
seek support from substance abuse if you are involved in this or other addictive behavior and cultural coping mechanisms at the end of the day. See, this can reduce the impact of addiction or on, on personal relationship or in the personal health of the individual. Number 10 is about cultivating emotional maturity, it's very key. Work on personal growth and emotional maturity through self-reflection, therapy, or personal development. This enhances the relationship uh, wandling uh, the conflicts. So you, by preventing these complications, relationships can remain proactive uh, through communication, safe practices, addressing personal and also individual relationship, relationship issues as much as possible. And also by prioritizing the consent, maintaining hygiene, and also seeking help when needed, very key, individual can foster healthier and a more fulfilling uh, relationship at the end of the day. So by implementing these preventive measures, support emotional, emotional and also physical relationship well-being lead to a positive and also respectful partner uh, well-being at the end of the day. So man on managing and preventing complication in sexual relationship is very key, where sexual relationship can be very fulfilling and health uh, when managed properly. To avoid complication and ensure positive experiences, it's very key that uh, you address several key issues. Uh, number one, like I've mentioned in, the, in our video, guys, is to ensure all sexual activities are at consensual. They promote mutual respect and also prevent non-consensual uh, non behavior as much as possible. Foster open communication is very key. Maintain honest and open dialogue with your partner about boundaries. Let your partner know about where you can stretch up to and also uh, meet the expectations and the concern to build trust and also pr to prevent any misunderstandings at the end of the day. Practice safe sex is also another way. You use protection and regular uh, testing uh, to ensure that you are free from infections. Maintain personal hygiene, adhere to good hygiene practice to ensure comfort and reduce the risk of uh, infections. Address emotional and also mental health issues by seeking professional help to help you maintain your mental health from your partner and also for yourself. Educate yourself and your partner about uh, yeah, stay, staying informed on the sexual health and also relationship dynamics to be informed about the to be informed about the uh, to always make uh, informed decisions and also support your healthier sexual behavior. Seek professional help when needed when you uh, consult healthcare providers or counselors for issues related to sexual health addiction or relationship uh, conflicts. Manage addictive uh, behaviors. Address and seek uh, support if you are into uh, substance abuse. Uh, that's very key, so that you get to reduce the impact of, on a relationship and also personal health. Cultivation of emotional maturity is also very key, so that you work on a personal growth and emotional maturity to improve uh, your relationship stability and also conflict uh, uh, resolution at the, of the, at the end of the day. So through focusing and also on these preventive measures pro and these proactive uh, strategies, individual can foster health and a more respectful sexual, uh, sexual behaviors so that you get to help yourself from this kind of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, our, of our relationship because we always want to make you uh, as much as possible to be in a health kind of a relationship. So, uh, guys, when considering partners for sexual relationship, it is important to focus on mutual respect, uh, consent, and also compatibility. That's why we, we, we've gone deep to discuss this. Rather than categorizing people to avoid, it is more constructive to understand uh, certain behaviors or situations that could indicate potential issues. So that's why we want to be on the right note about this thing. Yeah, so, so we've talked about some behaviors such as unconsensual behaviors, dishonest, uh, disrespectful attitudes, uh, irresponsible sexual behavior, lack of emotional maturity, and also... <laughs> Thank you.